Hi, I'm Vincent. In 1984, I traded a Kramer electric guitar for a Ford Pinot station wagon. I was homeless at the time because I ran away and was sleeping behind the Safeway grocery store when an old bandmate of mine, an old, I was young, but a bandmate of mine in a former band, my first band ever actually, Vision, he offered to trade me for that guitar. He wanted to give me that Ford station wagon. And I traded him. And you know what? I lived in that thing for almost a year. I put a twin mattress and I would, instead of sleeping behind Safeway in the bushes, as a homeless kid, I had a Ford Pinto station wagon with a twin mattress that I slept in. And that was a pretty good trade off in my eyes. I really, I felt like some shift had happened. I was stoked. That was the beginning, I think, in my mind that a person could actually live inside of a vehicle. At the time, I was homeless. <clears throat> At the time, I had no idea what the future held. I knew that I wanted to play music, and I went on to be in several bands and ended up touring around the world with the band that I was in that was very successful. Fast forward to about 1993 when I started cutting hair as a hobby. Music was in my past. Living in a car was in my past. It was time for me to be responsible, get a job, have a career. And so I chose barbering. My granddad was a barber. My mom cut my hair growing up. I decided that my career was going to be barbering. And that was after a slew of uh, attempts at other careers like <clears throat> laying floors, roofing, real estate, insurance. And I owned several businesses as an entrepreneur. In 2008, I lived in California and that 2008 downturn happened. California was upside down in a matter of a couple weeks. I lost my business, my house, my cars, my scooters. I lost pretty much everything and had to start over. We moved to Texas and I decided now's the time to make my hobby a career. Went to school, got my barber license and in 2013 ended up opening my very first shop. I've had five locations since. One of them was in Boise, Idaho, where we attempted to take a very successful shop, close it down, and move it all there to a place with more population, more people, more opportunities, so we thought. That did not work out like we thought it would. The business did not take off, and through a number of and years of hard times, a marriage came to an end and we ended up coming back to Texas separately. I landed back in that little town where that successful barbershop was and I opened another barbershop. Today, I own a two chair barbershop. I, I substantially downsized it and it's just me. I own the shop, I own my business. I don't own the building, but I own the business and I, I'm happy to say that the shop has become very successful over the last year and a half. And now, after all the changes in my life, after losing everything again, 2008, I lost everything. And the year that I came back to Texas was 2020. COVID had hit. I opened one day in my new shop and was shut down. I lost my truck, the truck I'd been paying on for three and a half years, paid on it perfectly. I lost it because of income, 
because of not having money to keep up. And I bought this van, this Toyota Sienna, and I've built it out. Not built it out officially, but I've made it to where I could sleep in it. And I made a decision because years ago I saw people who are living in their vehicles and I thought, well, I've done that before, but I was homeless. I'm not homeless now. And a lot of people would think, well, only homeless people think about where they could live. You know, where could I go? What could I do? I have a car, let's sleep in that. And there are some people that actually have chosen to live in their vehicle because of their predicament, because of their situation. And I, on the other hand, am just a little bit different. I actually have the ability to rent a house or a condo or even possibly buy a house. I have the ability to upgrade my vehicle situation from a minivan to a whatever. A very nice, I could drive a very nice vehicle. At this point, financially, I can pull the trigger on a number of things. But my heart tells me something different. It tells me that I want freedom. I've been for years watching van lifers travel and live in their vehicles and choose to actually be a nomad living in a vehicle traveling. And it finally dawned on me one day that I could do that. I could choose that. It's up to me, I don't have <clears throat> the family, the house, the mortgage. I don't have the American dream anymore. What I have is a barber shop. I have a good job <clears throat> and I have a situation that if I chose to, could absolutely tie myself down to one little city, stay put, save money and work until I'm however old in order to have a few years of good experiences. I ran into people like uh, Bob Wells on YouTube, like Eamon and Beck, Trent and Alley, the um, nomadic movement, and uh, top YouTube van lifers like that. And I kept watching them. I kept seeing their growth, living vicariously through their experiences and wondering, is it possible that I could do that? And why would I? Why would I leave all this behind? And that's the question that some of you might be asking. Why would you leave a successful business, a business ownership, a small town in the Texas Hill Country, beautiful, river and lake running through it single opportunities why would you do that why would i choose to live in a car instead of have all the security and the you know the the financial stability and the answer to that is i don't, I don't know i don't know all i do know is that I've taken a long time to do the things that I'm doing. I've taken a long time in dreaming for years and years about doing the things that I'm talking about now, about traveling and seeing the United States and being in a position where I can actually pull the trigger on a lifestyle like that. Do I wanna live in a car? Not necessarily. Is it a means to an awesome, happy uh, period of time in my life? Absolutely. Big sticker on my foot. I have an opportunity. I've started a YouTube channel. And the meaning of this video is basically an intro to my channel to give you an idea of what I'm doing. I'm a 54 year old man. I own a business, I make good money, and I live full time in a Toyota Sienna car, minivan. I put a lift kit on it. It's got a three and a half journey lift kit, three and a half inch journey lift kit. There's a video that's 
doing pretty well on my channel all about it i blacked out the windows and i threw a nice ikea memory foam map mattress and a sh and a and a shelf a tv and a computer and a solar charger in there and it's a no build living situation i haven't done a tour i'm not sure i'm going to actually do a tour maybe i will at some point um since i've been in this van living in this van for the last almost two months i have gone back and forth between the idea of building it out i've seen so many i follow a guy named chrome valdez who has been probably my most uh my biggest uh, YouTuber that I follow because of his relatability, how I relate to what he did and how he grew his channel and how he started with next to nothing in a simple van with no build, nothing special, just the comforts that he needed and the will to do it. And that's why, that's why I'm, uh, that's why I'm living in this sucker right now. I've decided to take the plunge and at some point in the near future, my plan is to walk away from the successful barbershop business and uh, go see the United States. Go see some friends in states that I haven't been in a while, California, Idaho, possibly stick around a little bit, maybe work in some barbershops here and there if I need it. My goal is to build a channel. My goal is to make this thing as comfortable as possible and as i was saying the longer i stay in this the more ideas i get about making it just that much more comfortable chrome's channel is called van city van life and he recently did a car tour of a van that a guy built out spectacularly he's got floor to ceiling cabinets on the side He's got a bed that folds up and folds back. It's immaculate. It's like a tiny little RV. For me, I love seeing that stuff. I love the idea. And let me tell you something. If someone said, hey, I'll build your van out like that, let's go. I'd say, heck yes. But I don't have those abilities. I'm not a builder. My name is not Bob. <laughs> That's funny. I uh, have lots of ideas on my head and... I realize my limitations. So, for now, it's some IKEA furniture with my little rack and my TV and computer with my solar charger battery. I plan a solar panel on the roof. I have a Yakima cargo box that I'll put up there when I'm ready to go. Other than that, I have put these shelves. I'm not sure if they're staying, but like I said, the more I stay in there, the more ideas I get about how to make it work better and be more comfortable. Someone said, the more comfortable you are, the safer you feel, and I believe that's true. I believe that I am absolutely sleeping better than I have in years. I have a little space. It's enough to stretch out and I can stay cool with the fan as long as it's not too hot outside. I plan a max fan. I hope to have a, a um, diesel heater, uh, possibly a tow hitch. Um, I think I'm not bringing my bike at this point. I may purchase a scooter at some point, a battery rechargeable scooter that will zip around at 15 miles an hour, you know? So when I come into cities and places I can ride and trails like in Boise around the river, so much place places to scoot around so i'm very looking forward to that i ask you to follow me if it's if i piqued your interest at all if i've uh said anything you like if you think that maybe you might want to follow a guy like me in my journey i encourage you to hit that subscribe and uh that's it for me hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions hit me up i try to answer most of them that uh pop up on these uh, videos so i want to say god bless you thanks for watching and we'll see you around <laughs>